There are two places where you can find formulas in WeWeb. The first place is in the data formula submenu. You can add your own formulas. So in code, you would write functions that you can reuse throughout your code. In WeWeb, you can write formulas, um, including formulas with uh, JavaScript like we have here, and reuse those formulas throughout your project. So in this case, for example, we have a formula that uh, is meant to convert numbers to millions, and we have a parameter, the label value, that is expecting a number. So we can actually reuse this formula uh, throughout our project in WeWeb. The second place where you'll find formulas uh, is, you know, whenever you bind, you see this little plug here, it means you can bind um, a, an element and, or a property. And when you open it, this tab, you see here, this tab is with all the formulas. So you see WeWeb formulas, you see custom formulas and operators. So the custom formulas, we go back to our convert numbers to million formula. So here we can use it. Remember it's expecting a number. So let's say um, we want to, uh, we're, you know, we put, did I put, how many zeros do I have? Yeah, 2 million. So it's changing the value to uh, 2.00m, which is what our formula is um, asking it to do. Uh, now something, this is great, we can use our custom formulas or we can use uh, WeWeb no-code formulas that come out of the box. So these are classified um, under different categories. You have the conditional uh, formulas, you have the math formulas, like the average, the sum. Uh, you can change a string into a number, for example. Uh, we have array formulas. This is where you have uh, the most options at the moment with filter by key, uh, lookup formula, lookup array. Um, you can find things, um, filter by key, um, sort an array. You have text formulas to so capitalize a text, for example, or you know all uppercase, um, whatever you need. Object formulas. Uh, you have a couple of uh, date no-code formulas. Uh, if you need more advanced um, date functions, know that you can set up the date.js plugin here. Uh, but in the no-code formulas out of the box, uh, you have these two. Then you have this uh, file uh, formula and utilities, which is uh, for now just the how to change um, um, a variable into a Boolean. Um, and the operators here. So for example, let's say, um, let's say, uh, if, uh, let's, yeah, so if this and that, then zero, then, you know, let's say let's true or false. So I will, uh, right now, because this doesn't mean anything, uh, the, the result is false, uh, but you could have, you know, a condition here. Uh, and if one condition here and one condition here, and if both are true, then it's true or false or any, you know, you can use um, uh, things really if uh, three is more than two, then true. Um, there you go. That's how formulas work in WeWeb.